You might have to turn up your volume. Hey guys, Jacob from Make Science Fun here. Thanks for joining me today. Now, I have seriously got something here today that will blow your mind. Just got my Mac here, and I'm playing a really popular song. You know, the duck song. You can hear it coming out of the, the Mac speakers. All right, so I've connected the jack. Can't hear the sound now. And that's because the sound's not coming out of a speaker anymore. I'm actually using the electronic signal to modulate the LED light. Can you see the music? No, I didn't think so. But I've got a solar panel connected to an amplifier, which I'll just turn on. Can you hear that? That's the buzz of the 50 hertz light. The electricity in Australia cycles at 50 times a second, and that's the buzz of the lights. But are you ready? Here we go. That's pretty good, isn't it? So I got to thinking, if you can use light, which is a wave, to transmit a signal, is there another way to transmit a signal through the air? I think I've got something original here. This is no rip-off. This is no copy. I haven't like just gone on YouTube like everybody else and like ripped off somebody else. This is it. People are going to rip me off. I'm going to try and send this song in the air from a fan. I kid you not. Let's see if we can do it. We need to connect the fan to the loudspeaker output of the stereo. Plug in the jack. And I've got it on auxiliary and I'm playing it, but the fan's not turning. I can sort of feel a little bit of movement, but nothing's happening. A sound signal wiggles up and down really quickly. And so it's sending a forward back signal to the motor. And so the motor is going forwards and backwards really, really quickly, not turning. I need to make sure all the electricity is going forward. And how do you do that? With a diode. A diode allows electricity to flow in one direction. I'll just put it in series with the fan. <whistles> Press play again. Okay. I'm getting a little bit of movement, but not much. A bit disappointed by that. Because one diode just cuts all the negative electricity out. What I need to do is I need to flip the negative side up onto the positive side. I know how to do it. Your charger takes alternating current and transforms it to direct current. But you don't want to lose the bottom side, you want the whole lot. So inside the charger is this little device it's got four diodes, I think it's called a wood bridge rectifier. But it actually takes all the electricity and puts it on the positive side. So I'm going to connect that wood bridge rectifier into the speaker terminal, into my fan. Let's press play. Voila! The fan is blowing now. Woohoo! It's being driven by the music. I'm hoping that the music will modulate the, the strength of the wind and that I can detect it. Ah, oh, of course. Can't use a solar panel. I've got to use something that changes kinetic energy into electricity. A microphone. Hang on. Get rid of that. Get a loudspeaker, which acts as a microphone. Connect this baby up so that we can see the sound. I want to connect it to the cathode ray oscilloscope as well. Hello. Hello. The loudspeaker is acting as a microphone, changing kinetic energy into electrical energy into sound. Can't see. Whoa! Can't see it. Hello, hello, cool bananas. Now for the big test. Can I send sound in air? Are you ready? Here we go. Might have to turn up your volume. Transmission of sound by air.
You saw it here first. Come on, subscribe to Make Science Fun. Mind blown. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.